What is up YouTube? It's Anonymous Nobody back with another video. Today we're going to talk about the table and what are you bringing to it? The imaginary table. Everybody brings something to the table, both male and female and dynamics of relationships. Now the question I haven't heard is forget the table, you know, my question is what, what are you bringing to my table? The requirements of my table difference differs from others as I'm sure yours differs from mine. And that is the essential question that we all need to be asking of our partners and companions is what are you bringing to each individual's table? As I said in previous videos, um, there's a power struggle from the onset in most of these endeavors. Um, I'll put a card up uh, and take you back to that video titled Power Struggle. Uh, I just feel that your, your partner should make your life easier and not harder. Now don't misconstrue that for that, uh, that you won't have any challenges throughout your relationship. But for the most part, that person that become, that comes into your world should make things easier for you and vice versa. You should make things easier for them. That's where the exchange comes in. And then therefore brings me to my other point of bringing things to the table. Uh, balance. Um, when, when are you at your best? When you're balanced or unbalanced? when you're single or involved. Um, I just feel like, especially in, in the days that we're in right now, that individuals need to not follow the trend and more so do what's best for you individually. You know, society may say, you know, of the matriarchal society, you know, get married, have children, raise your family and so forth. Um, that might not be in the cards for you. You might be at your best as a loner or someone single. Um, or, you know, maybe you're better with someone, with a, with a partner where you can be at your best and that may indeed balance you out. So keep that in mind when someone asks, what are you bringing to the table? balance. It's always one of my key contributing factors. Um, another point I wanted to bring up is, is research. It, it, it's been taboo. I've heard this for many years. It's taboo when you meet someone to not ask about a previous marriage or previous relationships. That's probably the number one question you need to ask. Because half the time you're not going to get the entire truth. You're only going to get part of it. You're going to get that person's version. As we always know, there's three sides to a story. But you can't be afraid to ask these questions. If you really want to see what that person is bringing to the table. Um, and then the last point is vetting. Um, vetting is a... Uh, it's a very, very time consuming component in relationships, but I think that it, it's the most important. Um, after a period of time of vetting someone, you you unveil the mask. Uh, you really get to know that person and not the idea that they may try to present to you. Uh, like I said, this goes on both sides of the street. Um, and then said this also ties back into that power struggle. Um, the person with the advantage is going to show less, you know, they're going to show less of their cards. And less is more in some situations. But when we're speaking of what someone's bringing to the table or bringing to your table, got to consider that vetting process. I mean, it sucks. Because we're in a time where, like I said, everything's microwave. You know, instant relationships, instant marriage, instant families. Um, P 
people don't build like they once did. We're just in a different time. But uh, that vetting process is definitely key. So just to rehash, um, the topic again today is uh, the table and what are you bringing to mind? So number one, the question you need to ask yourself is what is this person bringing to my table? Not just an obligatory table. Uh, number two, understand the exchange and what this person is going to bring you that makes your life easier and not harder. Number three, does this bring balance? Uh, will you be at your best with this person or by yourself? Uh, research, not being afraid to ask tough questions, not being afraid to ask about previous relationships in detail. And then the last point would be vetting. So that was just a quick uh, overview of my thoughts concerning what someone's bringing to the table. Because we hear this a lot, but people don't really go into detail about exactly what it means. That That's just my opinion. Um, if you disagree, you know where to find me. My email address is below. Hit me in the comments. This is your boy, Anonymous Nobody. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back at you soon with another video. Peace.